Yet again, another disclaimer before watching a video. I am currently working, um, getting paid to watch somebody gamble some slots. If I sound like I'm dying in this video, my voice sounds messed up if I keep clearing it. About an hour prior to recording this video, I choked on a boneless chicken wing. So, there you go. <clears throat> Yo hey YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is about truck driving, my first full year as a company truck driver. And as you can see, I have a whiteboard where I wrote down most of the stuff you probably wanna know or kinda need to know. So to start, I got my CDL and we're in 2023. And so in 2022, I got my CDL in July, I believe it was. And the company I work for now, I started working for them in September of 2022. So I've been there for a year and three months, but this is my first full year, January, back to January of working there. So I figured since I have all the numbers of everything, um, the hours I worked, the money I received, the bonuses I received, um, I figured I would just do it year to year and it's easier that way. So I figured I'd start with the stuff that's probably most important to people that want to get into driving trucks. So I get paid bi-weekly with the company I'm at, and this year I grossed $86,507.79. Um, I got four $350 taxed safety bonuses, so that's also included in this. Um, and then my total hours for the whole year 2,756 hours for an average of 53 hours a week. I try to typically get 50 hours a week, so my paychecks are 100 hours. Um, I think I missed that, Martin. So there were seven times this year where I worked less than 100 hours in two weeks. Um, the most amount of hours I worked in two weeks this year, 117.98, so basically 118 hours, and then another 117.65. Um, and then the lowest I worked was 94.65 for two weeks. Kind of a variation there. Um, for the most part, my paychecks are always at 100 hours. Like I said, I try to get 50 a week. Um, there was a few times where I missed that mark, um, but it's fine still plenty of money for me. So if that's all you were wondering about a truck driving job is the money or hours. Like I said, this is for the company I work at. So with this company, I'm home almost every single night. I do have a sleeper truck. I mean, I, I wrote everything down, so if you can't see it, I'm gonna go over it anyway. So I'm home almost every single night. My truck is a 2021 International. I got everything I need in there to keep me, it's my home away from home. I have, um, I have a microwave I brought. I bought a 32 inch TV, brought one of my Xboxes. I just got a laptop, so I bring my laptop with me. I can watch YouTube, I can play video games, I can do research, I can try to do YouTube business stuff, social media business stuff, whatever. Most of the time it's video games. <laughs> I think the most I slept in my truck in a one week period is two nights, you know, leave on Monday sleep Monday, sleep Tuesday, and back Wednesday. Um, there has been trips where it has been a longer than a two night stay, um, but most times I park at a truck stop close by home and I walk home and then I finish out my trip the next day. I will say the worst part of driving on the northeast side is 95. No matter what part of 95 I have driven on, it has absolutely sucked. All the way down to North Carolina, all of 95 sucks. Going around 695, around Baltimore, or around DC sucks. And the New Jersey Turnpike 95, that's probably the best part of 95 from the parts that I've driven on for my destinations. Um, but even that's not great. I think the biggest downfall to working for the company I work for is we don't know what our weeks are going to look like. So the biggest heads up we get for what we're gonna be doing the next workday is from a Friday to a Monday. So I have off Saturday, Sunday, 
when I come in at anywhere from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., they'll have the schedule updated, um, but it's only for Monday. So, you know, Friday at that time, I get to see what I'm doing Monday. But then if I start Monday at 8 a.m., I don't know what I'm doing Tuesday. They usually don't update it till 10, somewhere between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m., of the day before the next work day so it's kind of the, the crappy part is you can't really plan a week with your family or your family doesn't know what to expect from you so even though i'm home almost every night um it still kind of sucks because hey if we want to do something thursday and it's monday i mean without you know lining something up at work i guess you know, there's no really last minute plans with working here um another crappy part is you know, the start times and end times. Like I said, I don't really know when I'm gonna start and delivering to warehouses all the time. You don't really know when you're gonna end. You could be at a warehouse for an hour and you can go to that same warehouse the next day and you could be there for eight hours. Um, I've had it happen to one of the warehouses I go to. I was there nine and a half hours one day. The next day I was there for eight hours. And recently we've been going there and we're there for anywhere from an hour and a half to three hours. So um, your end times always, you know, always vary depending on how the warehouse crew is feeling that day if they're the ones unloading you. So with my company, since I just brought that up, there's one warehouse that I deliver to that I have to unload myself. It's a refrigerated warehouse. Go in there, check in at the guard shack. They give me a door eventually. Then I drive to my door, hand in my papers to the receivers, and then I go grab a ride on pallet jack, unload my 19 or 18 skids, and then I'm done. And then I wait for them to give me my papers and. I'm on my way home. But other than that, every other warehouse, guard shack, you check in, whatever you do. Um, and then you just sit there and wait. So that's why I have all my video games and stuff with me because there's a lot of downtime. So like I said, I made $86,000 this year. I bet you anywhere from 20 to 35,000 of that was spent playing video games. I sit down a lot in that bunk and I'm playing video games, watching YouTube, watching TV shows or eating food. So I think I've covered about everything. The last thing I want to cover is truck stops. But truck stops, you know, from what I found, the Love's truck stops are usually the best truck stops to go to. Their bathrooms are usually the cleanest. I've only taken two showers on the road. Um, and I just started doing it recently because the one time I was sick. But trucks, Love's truck stops um, are clean. Bathrooms are clean. They usually have a good variety of food. Between love truck stops, you know, Wendy's or McDonald's or Hardee's or Arby's, whatever. They have varieties of foods throughout the country. Um, and they have showers there and they supply you with wash rag. They have soaps in there. Um, give you a towel and they give you a floor mat to put on the ground to not get the ground wet or so you don't slip and fall. So love truck stops are usually what I look for. It, I'm going to finish this off with some tips. Watch what you're eating. Watch how much you're eating. Watch what you're drinking. Try to stay hydrated, you know, stay drinking water. Or, you know, there's lots of energy drinks out there that are sugar-free and they have these supplements in them um, that can help you <laughs> in some sort of way. And when it comes to the walking thing, I mean, don't be lazy. Don't park right up next to a truck stop just to, you know, run in, grab some food. Find a parking spot. You know, walk as far as you possibly can. Keep your body active as much as you can. Um, two weeks ago, I drove. I started at 6 p.m. on a Monday, got done at 6 p.m. on a Thursday. So basically three days, not even a real full full four days, I would say. Um, I believe that that Monday through Thursday span, I did 1,443 miles. So I sat down a lot sitting a lot I was stuck in my truck a lot and by Friday when I was finally done and on a different trip a local run I mean my hips were hurting my whole groin area was kind of needed stretched out it was not pleasant um, but like I said I tried to get out and walk a little bit I did a little bit of walking especially at the delivery I made on that Thursday I didn't stay in my truck at all I was you know walking up and down the street standing outside my truck next to my trailer or whatever um, but Try to stay active, try to watch what you're eating, try to watch what you're drinking. The best advice I can give a truck driver now when it comes to job searching, I mean, be prepared if you wanna make good money by the hour. I think if you wanna make good money as a truck driver, you're gonna be away from your family a good bit. 
Uh, to me, 50 hours isn't that bad. I was doing 70 hours for nine weeks straight when I started my supervisor job, Monday through Saturday. It was miserable and I was salaried. So I was basically making $10 an hour at that point. I mean, it was horrible. I'd say look for somebody that's going to offer you these benefits that has a decent work crew or a decent truck um, for you to drive and somebody that's gonna treat you well. I mean, my company typically gives me off, you know, every time I ask for it, um, even if it's within two days of the day that I need off. They're very understanding, they're very helpful, they know what it's like to be away from your family and they try to keep us home or local when, when we need to be. So yeah, <clears throat> stay healthy, watch what you're drinking, watch what you're eating, stay active, and find a company that pretends to at least care about you, even if they actually don't, they might pretend that they do. <laughs> That's all I can say is about my first year as a truck driver. Um, I'll probably do another video, um, things you need for, you know, on the road or what to expect when you're on the road, but that's gonna do it for this video. I hope it helped you. And if you're thinking about getting your CDL, go for it. I'll end it off with, I paid $5,300 for a four week course, passed everything first try, so it's not hard at all. Go out there, kill it, be safe, see you next time.